Hi, welcome to the Rivera Family Homeschool Vlog. Today we are gonna to talk about what we do for foreign language, which we use Spanish. And we, oh, your horse. And we use something called Cherrydale Press. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is the Cherrydale Spanish. You can get it in a book form or you can get a PDF and print it out or just put it on an e-reader. I chose to print it out and put it in a folder. So the actual book form is very pretty, but this one is $20 for the PDF. And so it goes through, it uses the Goin Guin series, I think it's called, um, to teach. It's uh, Charlotte Mason. Charlotte Mason used this series. And so it go, just goes through different things and you use hand motions and you act out what you're saying. So let me just show you really quick what that means. All the instructions. Okay, and I add to it. You can add to it and uh, adjust it. So we started with several, like a month or so back. I opened the book. So we learned the series in English. I take the book, and Simply Charlotte Mason has a video on how to do this, so I'll link it below or above. I take the book, I open the book, I close the book. So you learn how to do that. And you take, we took a book off the shelf, we opened a book, and we closed a book. And then they have different variations. You can do it with a notebook or with a wallet. And you can also do responses to questions. And then we eventually, um, I'll show you what we did with it. But then this shows the Spanish version. So I take the book as tomo el libro. Abro el libro is I open the book. Cierro el libro is I close the book. So you do the same thing, the same motions that you learn in English of taking a book, opening a book, closing the book, you do it in Spanish. And then the kids catch on really quickly to this and they actually have a lot of fun acting it all out. And then we added to it. So we started with, ¿Dónde está mi libro? Estoy buscando mi libro. Ah, ahí está. So where is my book? I am looking for my book. Oh, there it is. Me gusta leer mi libro. I like to read my book. And then we just, then we went with the series, Tomo el Libro, Abro el Libro. And then we added Leo. I read the book, Leo el Libro. And then we kept on with Sierra el Libro. And then we said, Doy, I give the book. And then we asked the question, do you like to read? Te gusta leer? And then we said, yes, I like to read. Si, me gusta leer. I have many books in my house. Tengo muchos libros en mi casa. So we just got really creative with it and just added to it and really just marinated on this lesson for like a month. But we got so much out of it. And I love that you can, you can take this basic thing and turn it into all this. And my kids are doing much better with their Spanish because they're learning this. And then we took this same thing that we did here. I didn't write it out yet, but we applied it to um, we started doing our own, we don't really use notebooks right now. So I did, um, bottles of water cause we all have bottles of water. So we did pretty much a similar <laughs> thing to this with bottles of water. And we said mi botella de agua or la botella de agua in place of the libro of the book. And so we learned that whole series and then I eventually ordered the book and now we're on, I sharpened my pencil. So we started with, I opened my backpack I take my pencil sharpener, I take my pencil, I sharpen my pencil, I close my backpack. So right now we're learning this series. And what I love about this is we're also learning Psalm 16.1. Preserve me, O God, for in thee I do put, I put my, do I put my trust. So we're, we've learned, see I've already asked, donde esta mi mochila, we're doing that. So they're still um, reinforcing the question, where is my backpack? I am looking for my backpack. Ah, there it is. And we're doing that whole series, um, similar to what we did before. But now we're adding a Bible verse. And we're learning how to say this Bible verse in Spanish, which is a lot of fun that we're adding that in there. And then we'll go on to, I hope, which we're really marinating and trying to master lessons before we move on to the next lesson. So I've noticed my kids um, enjoying more Spanish worship songs and things just, and we're only on lesson two. <laughs> so I'm excited to go through the whole series. Um, there are two books for, in this uh, curriculum. Right now we're on, just on this first book. It'll probably take us at least a year to get through the whole thing. 
it is, how many lessons is it? It is 42. It will probably take us probably over a year to get through it all because we are adding to each one and really making it applicable to things that we do in our own lives and words that we can use in our own lives. So I'm excited to see where we get to the end since I, we've gotten so much fruit just out of the first two lessons. Good job, Mouse. Way to learn your Spanish. Do you remember your... <gasps> ¿Dónde está mi mochila? Oh, estoy... Now what do we do? Ah. Abro mi mochila. Tomo. I sharpen the pencil. Yay. And then we cl I close my backpack. How do you say I close my backpack? Awesome. Good job. High five. High five, Mouse. Bam. Great job. ¿Dónde está? Estoy buscando mi mochila. Okay, how do you say I open my backpack? Ah, bro, mi mochila. Tomo mi saca puntas. Tomo mi. I sharpen the pencil. Le saco puntas a lapis. Good job. And then I close my backpack. Fiero. Fiero mi mochila. High five, Mouse. Oh, good job. So that is where we're at right now with... Um, I sharpened my pencil, we're on lesson two. Next lesson, we're gonna put use I learn I put three pencils in the pencil case. So we have this whole a longer series now, and we're focusing on op the verbs open, take, put, take, put, close. So we've already mastered these, but we're using them in different settings with different nouns. And then we're gonna do some variations on that. We do have a pencil bag, so we'll do that. We can get a box and learn box, and we have backpack. We are, we're already learning backpack in lesson two. And then next week, we're gonna learn how to count to 10 in Spanish too, or next lesson. Some of our lessons take a month because we just add so much to them. But we can learn, we're gonna learn counting to 10, and we're gonna learn how to say, I count. So not just learning the numbers, but also saying in a sentence, I count. And then we're also going to learn our ordinal numbers, first, second, third. So that's going to be cool, too, in this exercise. And you can see that there. So if you order the actual printed book, these lay open. So there's English on this side and Spanish on this side. If you print it, it doesn't. It's like double-sided so that the English is on one side and the Spanish is on the other. I just... I. It was a cost saver to be able to order the PDF, and I figure I can write on this and not feel guilty about it. And then this is all about getting up in the morning, so this would be really fun to practice our morning chores, which we have on our daily menus. I can link right here to a video about how we do our um, daily menu. So I get up in the morning, I brush my teeth, I wash my face, I comb my hair, I get dressed. I eat breakfast, I make my lunch, I put my lunch in my lunch box. 
I leave my house, I get in the car, I go to school. We homeschool, but we do CC, so it's kind of like our school. Um, but these are all fun things to learn. And then they have responses. You can get them to, to learn, listen to me, watch me, I will begin, and you follow. Like these are things that you say to them and they listen and they can respond. And then exercises. These are, oh, they're going to learn the days. The days. One day passes. Seven days pass. A week passes. There are seven days in a week. The days of the week are. So they're going to learn how to say all this in Spanish. On the other side, they have it in Spanish. And they'll say it in sentences. And they'll do hand motions. The whole thing is to, like, act it out. And it helps them to learn and memorize it. Just like we do in classical conversations. We sing the memory work. We do hand motions with the memory work and it's just we keep repeating it over and over until it's like ingrained in us and it doesn't even require thought anymore so overall we have really loved this we're only two lessons in but because we marinate on our lessons and obviously add a lot to them we have been loving it and we're seeing fruits even in my own learning of spanish my husband is a native speaker so he helps us with pronunciation you can also buy an uh, audio CD if you don't have a native speaker in your house. And it will tell you how to pronounce the words because he has to correct me quite often on my pronunciation. So, oh, I have here a botella de agua that I talked about before. So, because there's different accents and how you accent different words. But overall, we really love this. This is the first Spanish program that's actually worked for us, and we've tried many others. We just seem to do really well with mastery and with hand motions and acting things out and getting our bodies moving when we're learning. So I hope that helps. I will link below where you can find this. If you buy it directly from the publisher, which is Cherrydale Press, it is the least expensive. So I will link to their website. You can also find it on Simply Charlotte Mason.